Oh my god, it's Pi Day! Woo! Do you like Pi Day, kiddo? Do you like circles? Oh, I love circles! <laughs> hey guys, it's Pi Day 314. Woo! I can't wait. Um, I wanted to take this opportunity to actually talk about radians because radians are a thing that a lot of you math students, especially pre-calculus and calculus probably, um, do not like. Radians are things that we convert w between degrees and we understand degrees and we don't really understand radians. Um, so just to give Pi the credit he's due, Pi is 3.14, some crazy number that some of you have memorized. Um, if you have it memorized, awesome I guess. Um, <laughs> pi is an irrational number. Um, if you are ever asked on the SAT or the ACT about rational numbers and irrational numbers and real and not real numbers, um, Pi is an irrational number and it actually has the word ratio in there and the reason it's called irrational is because you cannot express it as a ratio. Um, you can try with um, 22 sevenths. The 22 sevenths is like the closest fraction that we can come up with that is similar to pi. But um, basically pi goes on forever and it's not like a real number that you can put into a fraction so it's irrational. <laughs> Um, so 3.14, how did they get that number? Um, they looked at the circumference of every circle and the radius of each respective circle and they did some division and they figured out like whenever you divide the circumference by the radius, it's 2 pi and whenever you divide the area by radius squared, it's pi. A lot of different civilizations figured it out at different times um, and they all kind of came up with the same similar number. Anyway, what's a radian? So a radian is this weird thing. Um, one day somebody was like, hey, what if I take the distance of the radius of a circle and I wind it around the circle, like around the circumference. So I take this, but then I just wipe it <laughs> around the edge of the circle. How many degrees is that? I don't know, it's some weird number of degrees because it's, it's weird. Um, and they're like, well, maybe there's like an even number of those distances in a circle. No, there's not, because if you do the division, you get crazy numbers, right? So we know that. But anyway, a radian is literally like the angle, the angle that is created by wiping this around the circle. If you keep wiping it over and over again, here's one radius, here's two radius, here's three radius. And if you do like a little bit of change, you'll get to 180 degrees which by the way is one pi. So that's why for you like pre-calculus kids, uh, why this 180 degrees is equal to pi because how many radians are in 180 degrees? Pi radians, one, two, three. I made my uh, radians a little bit big, sorry. One, two, three and change. Here's the 0.14 and, and change. Um, and so how many make a whole circle? Two pi radians. So a radian is this weird thing that we don't really like to say what it is or how many degrees it is, um, but it is important if you are trying to calculate um, the distance around the circle, which is S, like an arc length is S. So it's just a little bit of a circle, right? It's just like a little bit of a circumference. S is always equal to, uh, sorry, I had a brain fart, R, times theta, so S equals R theta. With this formula, you always have to use radians. Don't ever use degrees for this thing. So you can calculate arc length using this. Um, you can, if you know the degrees, you can take it as a proportion of the circle 360 and just, um, well, you know, figure it out as like a percentage of the circumference. Um, anyway, radians are a weird thing that are an angle. They are an angle. That's the weird thing, they are an angle, and they are the angle created by wiping the radius around the circumference. That's all. Have an awesome Pi Day, and stay in school, and stay cool. Mwah. Bye. It's Pi Day, Pi Day, I love my cat on Pi Day. I love circles so much. I love circles. I hate circles. <laughs>